Do you hear me well? Okay. So thank you very much for the V2 for inviting uh, me and two, two other persons for, uh, from the RCA. Um, so I'd like to uh, pr present to you today the Open Sailing. So uh, I'd like to say it's the Open Sailing 01 since it's an um, a iterative process we are working. And also I would like to stress uh, to start with it's not my project, but now it became a really collaborative project and you have two <laughs> of the many members uh, on this uh, Skype at the moment, and you'll be able to talk to them afterwards if, if you want to. So I start by this quote. Um, the best way to predict our future is to invent it by Alan Kay, 1971, very <laughs> long time ago. So uh, what is open sailing? Open sailing, uh, first of all, it's not especially, many people say, OK, it's a board project, but more than everything, it's a framework in which many uh, sub-projects are being developed. So what we're doing, we're inventing software and hardware for making the life at sea possible. But our uh, further fetching pres perspective, sorry, is the International Ocean Station. We have a space station, we don't have an ocean space, oh, ocean station, International Ocean Station, sorry, even though it, co it costs much less and there's probably much more to explore. So Albini was a survival project and uh, that turned into a really science sense project. So it was, well, I think it was just myself, like as an artwork, and now it's becoming more of a science collective uh, adventure. So um, the methods and how uh, open selling came to life. So I, I will take you to a historical uh, journey of how the project was uh, existed. So about six months ago, I made, uh, we had a brief in college about fear, and we were trying to um, uh, about sorry, mind control, and my focus was on fear. So I tried to, if you can approach, sorry, if you can come closer. So I tried to uh, identify all the fears, and quickly I could uh, translate this fear in location. So for example, this is high human density, these are the pandemics, these are all the countries at war, this is um, uh, piracy, nuclear fallout, uh, high sea pollution, all these are human-made threats, human threat, sorry. And this is the tsunami, earthquake, cold sea, cold land, um, uh, very intense wind, and low biomass. If you overlay all these maps, you get this blacked out map. So all the, the darker it is, and the more dangerous. So if you look at the safest, potential safest place on Earth, most is at sea. So this was the new, be the, the new beginning. Uh, so I looked at all the functions you need to live at sea. So you need first to protect yourself. Thanks very much. Protect yourself. Of course, very difficult to surprise yourself with water, food. Uh, you want to exchange. You want to be able to communicate. Uh, you, you want to be uh, creating your own energy, and you need to repair if you have to, and of course move if you want to avoid these moving threats. So this was the function maps, and from that point, uh, uh, we made this um, conceptual uh, model. For, for example, this is the central shelter in which uh, four or five people could live. This is a rain collector. This is a fog catcher for gnats. These are seashell uh, sea pods harvesting sh uh, pods, a solar concentrator, tilt sensor to calculate the heights of wave and so on. Uh, now I would like to show you a four minutes video explaining the, uh, how each uh, detail of the open, open sailing works. So if you want to watch here. Open Sound? Uh, now I would like to show you a four we minutes video. And we want to do it well, uh, how comfortably, each, uh, sustainably, of and safely. Open, open oh, work. Sorry, there's a little problem of delay. Watch here. Social life, Sound? space to work. Uh, uh, sorry, I think I have V2 stream in the back. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry. Sorry for this. Let's start off again. Open sailing. We want to leave Can at sea. Sound, and we want to do it well. Oh. Comfortably, sustainably, and safely. We want delicious food, a great social life, a space to work and play. We've come together, a diverse team from all walks of life, to design our future on the ocean. With our combined skills, we're pioneering innovative architecture, navigation and sea farming techniques. So how does it work? 1. Instinctive architecture. At the core of open sailing is instinctive architecture. Open sailing behaves like an intelligent living organism, reacting to the conditions around it. When the conditions are good, we spread out and harvest. Open sailing automatically occupies the largest space possible with its nets and harvesting facilities to reap the oceanic rewards. When the conditions are dangerous and stormy, open sailing compacts itself into a tight, dense craft, deepening its reach and using the less important surrounding elements to dispel the energy of waves. When we want to move, 
open sailing stretches for the maximum speed using ocean currents and winds to move efficiently. Nets are raised while kites drag the vessel along in the water. Nomadic ecosystem. We are at one with the sea, inhabiting not one large object but many smaller, independent units that form a super organism. Each unit performs a different function such as harvesting freshwater, energy, fishes, plankton and algae or providing space for leisure. In return, we enrich the life of the ocean itself. Unlike most boats coated with pollutive anti-fouling paint, we actively encourage marine life to become part of us. Instead of holding vegetals and animals in captivity, we create a favorable open environment. Open sailing is a nomadic ecosystem. 3. Swarm Operating System Modern boats have GPS, radar VHF radio that inform them about where they are and basic data around them. Open sailing is a fleet of floating objects that use a swarm operating system, a computer program that feeds in real-time attractors, resources, places of interest, as well as anti-attractors. Natural catastrophes, political instability, pollution, as customizable parameters. The swarm operating system suggests the safest, nice locations, as well as a general urbanistic structure, a way to manage people's desires and fears, resources and social activities. 4. Energy Animal now we have the imperative for renewable resources of energy. Open sailing uses energy animal that generates electricity simultaneously using wind, solar and wave power. We produce energy continuously whatever the weather. 5. Life cable. We are developing one single standard cable that can safely provide us energy, water, waste management and data. This has a huge potential for construction industries in the developing world as well as application for outer space. Perspective We already have an international space station. Open sailing is designed as the first stage toward reaching a series of international ocean stations so that we can develop technologies, host experiments and learn from the oceans that cover the majority of our beautiful planet. All of Open Sailing's hardware and software design is open source, so anybody can use for greater good. Right now, we are designing an ocean training. In April, we are building our first prototype. In May, we are sailing and testing Open Sailing 01 at sea. End of June, we are presenting our experimentation results. We are still looking for collaborators and sponsors. The best way to predict our future is to invent it. Open Sailing Okay, um, so uh, the construction, uh, so what happened after we made this video and a couple of uh, prototypes and diagram, uh, we won a couple of competitions and made enough money to actually, all, that you, all the concepts you've seen, we, we're actually building them right now. So this is about 10 days ago in South London, in Peckham. Uh, so we are building, so uh, every morning I go to work on the construction, it, works like it looks like this. So we are welding. Uh, I don't know, working with resin, so all, all, all this stuff that you need for the, for the construction. Uh, the model we are building is looking roughly uh, like this. Okay, so maybe I explain the craft really, really quickly. So, um, first thing, the open sailing is insurmissible. The reason why it's insurmissible because we, this is filled with plastic bottles. This place is filled with plastic bottles. I explained just the central thing, which means, and the whole volume of flotation is held by reinforcement mesh. So it's inf inf the second thing is it's self-writing, which means that even if the uh, wave takes it uh, flip upside down, because there's more flotation on the top, it always flips back. The third thing is that it's shock absorbent. It works like a helmet, like a bicycle helmet. When you receive a shock, there's an insulation foam around here, so the people's head would be protected. The, the, the fourth design is the ballast system. It's like a skirt, like this, and it has some tubes, which are weight, weighted, and they are pulled here, and pulled here, and pulled here. So basically when it's down, it's holding uh, about 15 tons of water under the, the shelter, and when it's up, this tube is pulled up, then it follows the shape <laughs> of the boat, and it's becoming like a more profile. So it's very stable, and it can be more dynamic shape. It's, uh, see that's, that's seen from above, so it's very stable. Uh, the rudder system is three rudders like this. 
there's an exoskeleton applying force uh, not on the axe here, which is a lot of effort, useless effort, but at the very end. So it's just uh, saving lots of energy. The kite, the propulsion is uh, done by kites. You have a belt all around the boat like this, and you can attach your kite wherever, at the bottom and at the head, at the head also on a belt here. You can attach the kite, tethered. And because it's a six-sided structure, it's modulable, which means that you can attach other open sailing units of the same proportion, uh, like this. Uh, so now we are in building in London. Uh, in about two weeks, we'll take it to uh, Linz. From Linz, we'll be going down on the 9th of septem September on the Danube River, completing a journey of about 3,000 kilometers into the Black Sea. And during this, we'll be shifting from um, fresh water to salty water and doing lots of experiments, so about architecture, uh, ecology, uh, computer science, uh, the operating system, uh, energy animal, renewables, life cable, interfacing, this is something we won't do, but yeah, and many more labs you can. Our perspective is to develop a float of um, similar system. What we're trying to develop is not one single design, but rather develop standard like the Argo system. Argo system, for example, they are sending information or they getting energy from the sun, diving, measuring salinity, acidity, drifting, um, measuring the, the, the drift and then sending again this information today, this kind of system is the world's best way to monitor the pollution and the, the changing state of the Earth. The other model that Open Sailing of the Open has is uh, more biological. It's like the Uros people, it's a tribe in Peru. And the way they have this floating island made of reed, they can divide this island, they can still grow, and they're building everything, their house, their furniture, their boats, and the surfboard out of this same single material, which is uh, uh, recyclable, I mean, completely natural. These are the next dates. I invite you to go and check them on the website. Uh, these are the different applications. We're just trying to develop a technology, basically, and after, there's lots of different applications possible. And uh, these are the people who are supporting the development of uh, open sailing. We're thanking, <laughs> especially to Debbie, too. Uh, OK, and because time is running, I think it's off now. Uh, we are still looking for opportunities. So if you're interested in joining the crew, there's lots of things to still develop. And you can sponsor us or donate. And you can check the website and blog about us if you, if you have time.